Hi guys, my name is Derek Bumper and I'm the Upbus Podcast host and we are Brewing Solutions with the Car Guy Coffee Podcast. Let's brew! Car guys and car gals, welcome back. The Upbus. Let's get it. Is on its way. Woo. Here it is. We got the cafe. <laughs> Derek Bumper Bump. is stopping back here at the cafe yes, for you is, to man. get you a fresh brew of some fresh news. That's right. Fresh news from Derek Bumper. That's so, right. Lou, I'm going to let you introduce this section because I know you love to introduce things. So, I'm going to let Lou handle this part. Here we go. Fresh news. Fresh news. Folks, coming at you. I don't know if anybody has ever rode public transportation, but that sound of the actual pull the, the cord and you hit the thing. That's what I'm hearing right now. That we're stopping. And this driver is going to give you the delivery of what's happening right now inside of his career. He is inside of this segment of the Fast Trackers, which is actually being brought to you by Think, Think. Ad Group. Yes. And they are the ones helping us brew solutions. You can access them at thinkadgroup.com. Check out those solutionaries that can really get you to think about how you do your ads and yeah. your dealership and or inside of your business. Talk to them. They're great solutionaries. For real. They've been on the show. Check them out. Check them but out. Derek is brewing solutions everywhere that he goes because he's sipping on that car guy coffee, right? Yes, he is. And he is making some big things happen in the fast trackers lane. And He's going to tell you right now, so go ahead and get your notepads out. Go ahead and get your notepads <laughs> out on the phone and listen up to the things that he's going to tell you about what's happening in his world and where the up bus is going right now. Mm. All right. So uh, right now, man, the, uh, the up bus is just primarily focused on understanding, you know, uh, going deeper and finding what's next with social media. Um, again, we kind of talked a little bit about TikTok and how it's drastically blown up, but really trying to get granular and understand. We understand how it works for popular culture, but how does that translate over to, you know, for us as car guys? You know, how can we get on here and just sell, con- you know, sell cars with this? Of course, the content is the surface level thing, but trying to go deeper with it and really just, you know, spreading the messaging of, um, you know, positivity and, you know, embracing and trying to remove these, these stigmas that we have against social media. That's the main focus of it right now. Um, of course, we got the Upos podcast going again. We've recorded some episodes, but more will be coming out. I'm trying to take a more less live approach and more so do the behind the scenes to really clean it up type deal. But, um, that and as well as focusing on the digital marketing side. Um, I was blessed to have a couple of videos that did very well where I broke down for. Um, those who are interested in getting too heavier on the marketing side, how to really communicate effectively with car dealerships and really understanding like what, you know, car dealerships want. How do I move the needle with, you know, these ads or these promotions or what have you? And just kind of introducing that because unfortunately, um, the automotive business is still kind of behind. You know, I have rarely seen an influencer be used, um, by a car dealerships who generate traffic to their website or to generate more ads. You know, but that's one of the most effective forms of marketing right now because you're basically getting a celebrity endorsement, but for a fraction of the cost and with a way more, you know, you can track that, that track that, um, their, uh, that reach and say much better with these different avenues and different platforms that we have available to us. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. Just kind of preaching my gospel of, you know, social media, social media, as well as the, uh, you know, my, a lot of my scripts that we have, um, you know, for the BDC departments out there, which, um, not too long horn, but, uh, you know, they, they are pretty good. Um, actually mm-hmm. crazy enough. We talked Dude, about wait. the Harley. <laughs> we talked about the Harley, uh, where I kind of started in the uh, big ticket sales, but I did a second stint for the uh, Mike Bruno group. And that's the one who kind of made me puff out my chest for real because carwars.com actually came down and was like, Hey, you're top 1% in the country. What are you doing? How do you do this? Like, what well, what are you saying to these guys? And, Spent literally a day with uh, one of their business guys. I forget his name. Jetson, I think it is. And just, you know, letting him listen to how I go about, you know, how I structure phone calls and breaking down the science behind each individual phone call to flood dealerships. Hence the name, the up bus, because I'm driving. Oh, <laughs> boom. I love it, man. man. That is, 
What you know, and the Upbus is a great name for anything, especially in the car business. Who doesn't want the Upbus to pull up on their lap? That's it, man. The only That's bus it. you really want to be a driver of, right? Otherwise, you know, then you're like the bus driver. You're like, thanks, be the bus driver. Yeah, I'm the bus driver of the Upbus. All right, you better get on this Upbus and come with me. You know what I mean? And <laughs> I, I love it. I mean, oh, I, I got so much I want to say on that, and I want to expound on. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna you were going somewhere. You know, so. Derek, I know a lot of people um, have had an opportunity to come on your show and, and been interviewed, and there's some pretty nice names. You know, you mentioned them earlier, and, and I think that it's great that you've been able to do that. I, I look forward to seeing some other people come on your show and, and do some things. So it's going to be really neat to see those get released. The the Up Bus, man, I love it. I, like, I keep talking about it. That is such a cool name. And it really, you know, it really you know makes You know how I came up with it, crazy enough? I was, um, so I was at my first dealership, Pat Peck Kia, and I was going over to Pat Peck Nice. I wanted to transfer over there because the Pat Peck Kia was a very small destination type dealership. Pat Peck Nissan was where the, again, that's where the, you know, the real guys were. Um, and as I walk over to the lot, um, I'm, you know, going over there and I'm super nervous because, you know, transferring from one dealership to the next within group one, you know, you, you don't do that, you know, typically you get fired and then you get sent over there but I want to transfer. And I'm walking up to these guys and they're standing outside and I'm like, Hey man, how's sales going today? And, uh, you know, just, uh, it's been, uh, it's been crazy today, man. Yeah. The, uh, the up bus stopped by this morning. I was like, what, what, what's that? Oh yeah. They came through, man, brought like 15 customers through. I was like, what? Yeah. We sold about 16 cars this morning. It's, it's 12. Yeah, man. That's just, yeah. About 12 cars this morning. Yeah, you 15, 15, 16 cars. I was like, bro, what? Yeah, that's that up bus for you, man. Just came through, man. I was like, wow. You know, so <laughs> of course they were messing with me, but you know what I'm saying? That's kind of where the idea for this came, you know, like, cool. You know what? Mm-hmm. As I figured out their mess, I was like, I'm going to get good at that. I'm going to get good uh-huh. at flooding dealerships and, you know, uh, but that's, that's going to be my moniker with it. So he said, right after yeah. that, they told me to go find the lot stretcher. I didn't, I, I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we send a lot of our new guys from each store, hey, I need you to go up and see Lou and ask him for the lot stretcher. We need a little bit more room over here in a lot. Like, they said, you <laughs> <mean>. <laughs> they said, dude, did they just, oh, man. And I'd be like, hold on a second. Then we'll send him to, like, an auto an auto place right. that we know, like a tire place. Yeah. We're like, hey, go to see these people at this so tire place. Adventure. We'll call, hey, man, we got Bob over there. Just mess with them, man. Just tell them. <laughs> <laughs> send them on a day mission. Really but, but seriously, there there is, uh, I mean, seriously silly. Um, this up bus understanding is just one conversation that this fast tracker was able to take sponge in and squeeze out into creating an actual podcast that is generating not just business, but generating a conversation of growth everywhere it is that he goes. So that's, again, the psychology of a fast tracker is, is key for somebody to lean into. If I'm going to read a book about something, I want it to be able to help teach me something, right? If if I'm going to invest the time into watching the video, doing anything like that, I want it to benefit me. So getting on a a podcast and even listening to this, being on YouTube and watching this right now, wherever it is that you're getting this median of of the up bus coming through, make sure that you're taking it and you're applying it to your life as a fast tracker. If you want to get to where it is you want to go a little bit faster, Mm -hmm. take the tools that Derek has given you, listen to the people around you, Brew solutions everywhere that you are, right? And then you're going to find yourself having success. Inside of this fresh news segment, listen, folks, he's letting you know about tools that are out there that the auto industry has yet to come into. Right now, the social media land of high ticket sales is incredibly great, okay? Things are moving. And where you sell cars, it doesn't get too much more high ticket than that. Until you start getting to homes and other products and services that are not driving you up and down the street. Okay. So folks, you can utilize these tools to get leads. Derek knows how to do that. Yeah, he does. Put a person right in front of you and spend pennies on the dollar compared to how we used to in an old school go after getting people. And it's right here in the hand of people. Right, Derek? I mean, you help people do that, right? You do that that in your business. uh, You help people out. Tell tell us a little bit more about that and the availability because we are brewing solutions. You know, we do that for our store, right? I've taught other dealers how to generate leads. I showed them how to make, spend a little bit of money and explode. 
We know how to do that. And we have solutions for people, but you do too. I want people to know about that. So basically one of the, okay, so got a couple of things that I do for folks. Um, you know, mo the most popular I'll say is where they actually bring me in and I sit down for about two to three hours and, uh, just go through the basics of, you know, social media. We're really focused. Uh, of course, we go through the how, but more importantly, the why, why these things work so effectively, you know, um, to basically generate opportunities themselves. I think that in this today's day and age, yes, of course, the dealership should have its own brand and, of course, you know, work on building that up. But it's even more important that the salesman, that they, you know, the salesman, the sales manager, that they have a brand. Because, again, you know, one of the things I always come back to is we're in the people business. We just happen to sell cars. And, you know, if a dealership doesn't understand the fact that the, the need to build up the people, right, not the building, but the people, if you're not building up the people, then. What else is there? Because you can't sell cars without salesmen. You got to have them, right? Right. So, um, we, you know, we do have that available. I'll come in for a couple hours, talk to you guys. Um, of course, pricing depends. I'm pretty fair on my stuff. Um, and then um, typically uh, after that, we'll do like a consulting, right? You know, so every once a month or so, or we'll set up a couple of different, um, depending on as needed, really. We'll set up uh, video conference calls with the team. Hey, this is how I do things. This is how you do this. How you do this. Here's some updates on some things that have changed. Hey, you can't really do this anymore. Um, and, uh, something I do for, you know, it's really dependent on, um, who's asking, I guess, but, um, I do run ads for dealerships as well. Um, we've got a couple of dealerships in Florida that have reached out to me and they're having some pretty good success with it. Uh, one of the things that I'm super, super proud of is that, especially for the subprime niche, typically like, you know, the, at the, uh, cost per lead for a dealership is like, you know, it can, it can range, you know, so upwards of like 13, 14, you know, some lower, like $7. I think with all this COVID stuff, it's actually a little bit lower. Um, the average cost per lead people are seeing, but my stuff, I mean, shoot, we just spent 500 bucks and we generated over 450 leads. Mm. That doesn't happen. That just doesn't happen. That's awesome. Um, wow. and that's something that, um, that we do. The conversion on that is really dependent on, you know, um, your BDC department, how accounts you are to get them in the door. But I know for us, we were able to generate 50 sales off of that, off of 500 bucks. That mm. doesn't happen. You know what I'm saying? But again, it goes back to just understanding what the true purpose or the, you know, really just leveraging this tool the way it should be done. These different social media platforms, it's a hit all day. And, and, it's and that's what that, I did. Yeah, it, it's a key also that there's a process set in place for when they get this influx of leads mm -hmm. that they don't screw that up. I mean, to be mm -hmm. short about it, you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. it's so easy to get a whole bunch of leads and say, and then not find a way to deliver your product to them because you don't have a system in place to mm. actually follow up with them and make sure that they come inside of the door. I can hand you 500 mm. leads, but if, if you had to pick a, a particular salesperson, you might determine who would actually be the better one of them unless they're mm. all able to do the same job, right? That's, that's a process that has to be put in place. But some salespeople get active with social media or some dealerships get active with social media and then the salespeople don't have a process of processing that. Right. They may not be used to the phones. They may not be used yeah, to so making correct. those phone calls. You know, they may not have that way. So if you don't have the right BDC department, that's going to follow up with that person until they tell you to go to the moon. You know what I mean? Or they don't want to hear from you. Ever again in it, life. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> go to the moon. Yeah, that's, that's how they yeah, tell you. Yeah. Go to the I'm, moon, I'm being, guy. You know, this is the PG version. Lou, I'm always going to find another way to say it. Right. So. But uh, but that's really what ends up happening. They say they say some pretty colorful things, and then you're Absolutely. like, okay, now I'll stop calling you. You know, but until you get that, you're gonna call them. And if people Wear don't want to call them, then that lead doesn't mean it doesn't have value. It just means that at that moment, you you didn't get to talk to them. The average lead takes about eight times to yeah. to dial before you get a hold of them. So giving up on the first one just means you got the first shot out of the way. You know what I mean? It's usually going to be somewhere in there. So if you don't have a process to get those leads handled too, doesn't matter what you're spending on the lead, even though that's a great cost, right? Mm -hmm. You got to make sure you have a process in place that can process the lead once it and gets there. You know, one of the main things that I focus on when I'm talking, because again, I, always, I, I focus a lot of times on the sales, and of course on the management, because they, when I'm gone, they've got to reinforce this. I can sit here and talk all day, but if you're not reinforcing it, What's going to happen, right? Come on. Um, the mind, the, basically, like the importance of each call or really text message. That's something I focus on. So, of course, you know, I love the call. I'm a phone guy all day. That's why I kind of built my name off of just being really good on the phone alongside mm -hmm. the social media stuff. But 
texting is really the way to go because you know I'm sure you guys know you'll call a hundred people and get hung up on God knows how many times, but you follow that up with a text every single one of them and got oh. your penetration just to go oh, through the roof, right? Yep. Um, so again, texting, texting, texting. But when I explain to them the importance of it, you know, like basically, um, you know, and I, I typically have a chart that I deal with, but you know, hey, if you make a hundred phone calls, right, you know, a hundred text messages that go out. And then, you know what I'm saying? That's going to generate you X amount of appointments. X amount of appointments is going to generate X amount of, uh, X amount of shows. X amount of shows is going to generate X amount of, you know, car deals. You know what I'm saying? And then you can basically reverse engineer, you know, based off of how much money that you want to make for that month. You can reverse engineer if you know your numbers, because I'm really mm-hmm. big on that. Know your numbers. Yes. Right? Like you specifically, how many calls does it take to you for you to get an appointment? How many text messages? How many, you know, appointments do you have to get to get X people amount of people show, right? You can reverse engineer that to basically come back and find out, okay, cool. So if I want to make 10 grand this month, you know, I have to make X amount of phone calls and each one of those phone calls yes. that I make, whether they answer or don't, is putting, you know, five bucks in my pocket or something like that. And right. when you think about it like that, it drastically, like it's, it, it clicks for a lot of sales. It's like, man, it's not just me picking up the phone and calling. I'm waiting on that no. one person. The law of numbers, law of averages is just going to work itself out. I'm going to get there. Yes. You know? Man, it's speaking the truth. I mean, because that's what exactly how you, yep. how a good subprime person puts a deal together. In most cases, you're backing into the deal. You know, um, if you're going to load up any sort of a bus, you're usually going to back up into your place, especially if we're going to be trying to load up the up bus, right? And Absolutely. you want to find a, a way to reach a certain amount of people that are going to set this amount of appointments. They're going to show on this amount of a ratio and this amount of people you expose to are going to close. And then you then have conversions after that. Right. But th- that funnel is key to knowing the numbers and what it is your effective rate. It's not just quality. Uh, excuse me. It's not just quantity. It's quality. Absolutely. Right. You have to do it the right way. And eventually you'll find out what you're getting, especially if you're using the tools that are in front of you. And again, the up bus is explaining to you folks how to get people on it. Hey, man, and Derek really Bumper appreciate it. is an impressive, he impressive is man, man, I must say. Yeah, so we, you know, it's, it's good. It's great conversation with you. Every time we've had conversation, you're, you're very intelligent, man. And, and I mean that as for your level of where you've been in the business, the time you've been in, you obviously have a lot of game in there already yes. and you put the work in that takes, that takes like a lot of self-education. You know what I mean? Cause you're going to get taught so much, but in order for you to really get to where you, the knowledge that you know already, that takes a lot of doing it when no one else is doing it. And I applaud you for that, man. You, you deserve everything that you're getting, and I'm looking forward to seeing what else you get in the future, Sorry. brother. Seriously, this is pretty – it's pretty awesome to have a combo with you, man. Not a lot of people have this much time in the going business. On. You can have a combo like this, yeah. yeah. It's so dope to hear folks say that, man, because, again, you know, I'm sure you guys know social media back in the day. Like, a lot of the stuff that I was doing, um, you know, like probably like a year or so in, I used to get laughed at so much. Oh, my God, the mess they would talk about, right? <laughs> but, you know, kind of now as things have progressed and – Honestly, just being like, man, I was right. Woo, I was right. <laughs> you know, like I man, told you, baby. Come to, uh, you know, now I look at some of my older managers who were, you know, really archaic in their thought processes. Uh, you know, and it's like, hey, you know, I'll hook you up, brother. You want me to come doing training, guys? Up, yeah, that same <laughs> stuff I was doing back then. And you know, I'll throw you a little discount. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's something like that. Yeah, it works. Yeah, yeah. yeah. cool. <laughs> I told you. I tried to, I tried to so yeah, no, man. What a great, great fresh news section this was, man. I appreciate you dropping all that stuff. Guys, if you guys want to get on his show and you have some stuff to talk about, give Derek Bumper a check out. You can check, you can find him anywhere from any type of social where, media. Where, where can we find you at, Derek? Yeah, tell, tell everybody how to go. The place to find this guy is going to be at facebook.com slash podcast. All one word, upbus podcast. There it is. Mm-hmm. So exciting. Yeah, so exciting. So we're car guys and car gals. We are about to head out of this fresh news session, but we are going to go ahead and do some back to the futureness to this big up bus. And we are going to forgive focus or fly and fly our way to the next section. But before we do, let's go together. Derek Bumper on three. Help me out as we come out of this section. Of fresh news. Let's forgive focus fly on three. One, two, three. Forgive. forgive. Focus. Focus. Fly. That's right. All right, cool. Car gals, we'll be right back. We'll be back with the jump box. Mm.